PCR7600 This heavy unit was uh, made in the mid uh, 80s from uh, 85 I believe to about 87 This one was purchased right around 1986 As you can see, um, this is a high-end unit with a Dolby BNC and it's a full logic deck. The back of the unit here, it's a preamp only head unit doesn't have a um, built-in amplifier so you get two sets of RCA's one for the front one for the rear your black of course uh, is your uh, ground the red uh, goes to your switch 12 volt positive switch The yellow is your um, constant for your memory. This one's unswitched. And you need to uh, connect the orange wire, which is the illumination. If you don't connect this one, then the buttons on the front of the unit will not um, uh, light up. The purple is the remote on. And brown is your power antenna. And that's about it. I'm going to be using a, a pair of uh, acoustic research. Uh, these are the Power Partners 570. So basically, I'm going to use the output of uh, the front right here uh, to each one of these speakers these are powered and they get the power from they have a built-in amplifier and um, you basically plug one into the uh, to the your uh, regular uh, AC plug and then connect the other one from the speaker the, this one gets the power from this one and then uh, you connect uh, one RCA to one speaker and then the other RCA to the other and that's how uh, we get that done I'm gonna pause the video for a second so I can um, show the manual. This is a new old stock unit. You can see the strap is still um, taped to the side of the uh, foam. Um, the inside of the box there. This is the manual it came with. Kind of tells you about the features that it has: dynamic expander, uh, full logic feather touch uh, controls for the um, cassette section. Um, this tells you about the Denon optimum uh, reception system for the FM and OVP and C. Uh, when you turn off the power on this unit, it checks the tape and some of the other you know features that it has. This is the wiring diagram. I'll turn it around for a second here. In case that you don't, you have one of these units, but you don't have the manual, you can always pause the video so you can take a look. It shows you how to install the mounting sleeve. Some of the features here shows you what all the features, what did they do, and uh, what uh, button or knob or anything else corresponds with the uh, um, whatever the legend has here, which is the bass control, 
scribble control eject switch program switch Okay, just got stuck a little bit. It just goes into detail what each one of the features uh, actually does. Explains what um, you know how to use it and so forth. This is the page that has the specs. This is the box that it came in. That's what it looks like. Same on the other side. CR7600 Professional Audio Brand Denim. I'm gonna go ahead and connect everything and then I'm gonna start the video up again so I can show you what it looks like and hear it play. I have it all connected now. Uh, this is what the unit looks like when the illumination uh, wire is connected. And the radio itself, the stereo itself is turned off until you push the knob here and then um, you, you can tune your stations up and down from here under day I tell you what When you want to set a, uh, a station uh, preset, you press the memory button, then you select whatever um, uh, preset re button you want to uh, store it in. So we can try a different station here. So we press memory and then uh, number two. And that's it. There's the one that you uh, we uh, set into memory a, a little while ago, and then this one, and that's the way that you um, you set the um, the presets, the memory presets. The knob itself, um, you push in to turn it on or to turn it off. It also controls fader and, and balance. You have your treble and your bass. Uh, controls here. You have a metal um, uh, or normal uh, setting for the tape, music search, uh, Dolby B and C, eject, program, uh, fast forward, rewind, and clear. When you're fast forwarding and you want to stop, you press clear and it goes back. Your loudness con uh, button here. And local switch, that's the dynamic expander. I don't know if you can hear that. Local distance switch, FM or AM. You have it set to the FM, of course. And that's about it. Um, I'm gonna go try, uh, I'm gonna try a cassette, see what it uh, sounds like. This, um, this model has an excellent uh, tape section.
you can see it has tuner call. What that does is uh, when you're fast forwarding or rewinding a tape, uh, it'll go to the FM um, tuner. There it is. There you have it. Thanks again for watching.